Hi. This research is about the connection between spectral and spatial domains in graph neural networks. We are the members of Litus Research Lab in the University of Rouen, Normandy, in France. In this research, we would like to show the spectral spatial domain connection. By this connection, how can we analyze the existed GNN models in spectral point of view? Since we have seen the graph neural network as a signal processing pipeline, we strongly think that for a deeper understanding of limits of GNN model, we should analyze the graph convolution in spectral domain. For now, GNNs were studied separately. Always, it is classified as spatial or spectral. To the best of our knowledge, message passing neural network is the unique framework to merge them. They refer some of spectral model as a Laplacian based method. Shebnet, GCN, and KyliNet mentioned this connection, but since the two way transition is missing, they did not show its spectral analysis. Very limited number of research papers investigate just single GNN method in spectral domain. Spatial method consists of two functions. Aggregator collects the information from neighborhood nodes and summarizes them. Update fuses the concern node information with aggregator and find a new representation of the node. In most cases, we can implement all spatial GNN by our general framework selection. This framework shows GNN as multiplication of convolution support, node features, and trainable parameter. If there is multi-convolution support, all needs to be sum. This framework can also generalize Euclidean convolution if the convolution supports show certain relative position interaction of nodes. Euclidean convolution with 3x3 three three mask, we should select 9 convolution supports as shown in the figure. In spectral domain convolution is defined by eigenvalue decomposition with trainable diagonal filter. Since it is not transferable, being non-local and computational burden because of eigen decompositions, the most general way is to parameterize the trainable weight by B matrix. Here, B shows how the parameterization has to be done, either polynomial, B spleen, KyliNet, or ShebNet all uses different parameterization B matrix. Our main contribution is to show that spectral GNN with parameterized by B matrix is actually a particular case of spatial GNN framework when the convolution support set to eigen decomposition by each column of B matrix. To do spectral analysis of spectral GNN model, we just need to equivalent form of convolution in B matrix parameterization form. For spatial GNN, we can use this culinary, which is the inverse eigen decomposition of given convolution support. Note, the inverse eigen decomposition might not be diagonal in spatial GNN cases. For that reason, we also calculate the inverse eigen decomposition with that diag operator and we call it full frequency profile. Shebnet is usually presented by its spatial form. However, its spectral form is also known and here is each convolution supports frequency responses. KyliNet, defined by its rational complex function form in spatial domain, it has one real zoom trainable parameter and R complex trainable parameters for each signal band. However, we managed to write its formula in spectral domain, so it can be seen 2R plus 1 number convolution support in general framework. It yields this frequency response shown in this figure. Since the initial convolution formula is spectral, GCN generally classified as spectral method. However, we showed that GCN convolution after renormalization trick is not spectral anymore. So we can approximate the theoretical frequency response as a function of average node degree. We calculated its frequency response on regular line graph, CORA, and CITIS-C or citation graph as well in the figure. Last, we calculate heat map of its frequency response for relatively larger and diverse graph dataset named enzymes and proteins in the figure. Graph isomorphism network represented in spatial domain by learnable parameter named epsilon. We theoretically calculate its frequency response for regular graph as a function of average node degree and epsilon. Our empirical calculations validate theoretical analysis as shown in the figure for CORA, CITIS-SEER, and regular graph for epsilon equals negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1 respectively. We did the same for enzymes and proteins graph dataset as shown in the figure.
Graph Attention Network does not have fixed convolution support. It tries to learn convolution supports by attention mechanism. That is why we cannot calculate its frequency response theoretically. We did a bunch of simulations on Coregraph and calculated simulated support's frequency response, its expected values, and standard deviation in the figure. Also, we train model for protein and enzymes graph dataset and obtain train model's convolution support whose frequency response shown in the figure. According to our analysis, ShebNet and KyliNet covers the spectrum. However, there is no support for just low-pass or high-pass or band-pass effect. GCN is just low-pass filter. Graph Attention Network mostly low-pass filter, but has more variation in output spectrum. Graph Isomorphism Network has the ability to produce low-pass or high-pass, but not band-pass. Thanks for your time.